hi welcome back again uh, in our last video we have checked how you can implement the uh, server action how you can create a user how you can show user even how you can show the loader when you are going to submit a form so today in this video i'll show you how you can implement the react hot toast how you can implement the error handling confirmation window uh, while you are going to delete so before wasting more time let's dive into the code So guys, very first, we'll implement how you can handle the error. So let's uh, move the actions. Okay, so if error found, we just return. And there is an error. Okay, so how you can show this error over there. So before showing the error, let's implement the React hot toast. Here is the documentation. We will implement the yarn and Okay, fine. Now, just copy the toaster. So we will implement the toaster instead of layout. Okay, here's the layout. Main body, okay. We can paste it over there, toaster. And also we'll import the toaster from the toast, fine. And what you can do over there, I just like to do a little modification of toaster which is like toaster position and the toaster duration so let's apply the toaster pos position uh, top right i think that should be good and the toaster duration toaster option duration like for 10 seconds this notification will be visible that's fine for me so you can apply whatever you want as per your project needs so move to the user form so now i will share how you can implement the error handling how you can show the error how you can show the success message to user so before moving to the next the server action let me share the traditional way then you will understand easily how we can implement the server action so constant handle submit user this is our old style right i mean the traditional style so let me move it to right side then it is it understand from your end so what we will do we are sending this from over there so we'll paste it here and uh, we'll not use there yeah create user and we'll put this user submit here and inside the create user we will pass the form data this is the way uh, as we did before i mean the as our traditional server and also there we will found a result or response like yeah we will found a response from server okay and the if server response this is our traditional still if, if response comes uh, with an error then it will be visible with console log error okay else it will show success success okay so response fine save it handle submit form and also we will write like handle submit so if i save it you can see there is an error so there is error appearing but we can fix it so this should be async and this is the await i forget to send the right the await but still there is error so how we can fix it we just move this line of function and uh, by removing this line we can put this there and still if i save it you can see there should be an error you see there is an error 
So we can write there this simply use server. Save it. Now you can check. This is the how the interaction between the server component and the client component. Okay. So same time we have we have integrated the form with the use server and now if i go over there you can see uh, let me disable this and do a mistake by self so here is a mistake so now we have returned an error and there is an error okay and uh, response yeah so if i console the response okay so here you can see look over there If I press on submit, you can see there is an error. Okay, so perfectly we are receiving the error in our response. Now, how I can show into the front end? <laughs> so there, there is there is a lot of fun. So if I implement like a React hot toast over there, let me show you toast dot error. I said error, and if I write response error and import this okay so thank you for subscribe like this is your name uh, grade six at gmail.com and submit you see there is an error because we're not able to uh, implement the react hot toast with the use server so what we will do we will simply remove the use server from there and we will write here the use client. Use client. Now you can see if I move on right there, like this video and hello at like this video dot com submit. There is an error saving that's fun that's fun you know so now you can implement the error masses and same way we can write the success over there like toast dot success response success right you can we don't need the response success we just write over there the uh, user created successfully that's nice nice suggestion and if i fix this Okay, so let's create a user. Um, great user, uh, great user ninety nine at gmail.com and uh, put the submit. You see the error, error gone and user created successfully. So that's fun, you know. Uh, we have created the notification very very easily now there is an issue you see when i press on submit that old data is still available there so the question how we can clear the form this this should be a great question i think from your end when you are working a real life project so don't worry just hit the like and bell button then you will easily learn how you can implement the form reset function if you have not uh, like or subscribe do it right now you will use the use ray from the react use ref this is the Re uh, react function okay so and, uh, and the, for the type script uh, here we'll write the html form element html form element okay and so if the success so there should be ref dot current current and uh, there should be if it's available no no, no yeah if it's current, then race it race it okay there is an error so you see if current is not okay no problem to avoid the error i can like and also we'll implement over there instead the form we'll 
use the ref ref okay so now uh, if the successfully user created then the form will be reset so let me create a new user great user uh, 101 and then great at not gone submit there is an error ref current i have not refresh right yes i have to refresh the page before i yes because okay drag in great great user and great at gmail.com you can write yeah there is error saving so let me check what is the error yeah so db connection is not available okay we have connected the db no problem mm, reference perfect it fails to success okay and the reference should be ref okay fine see if i did this okay everything is perfect no problem okay Use the form if we go over there okay so this is the perfect i think okay so let's try again great gmail.com from oh sorry sorry <laughs> there is a typo mistake this is the reset reset yes sorry for my typo mistake yeah hello and hello great user at gmail.com if i click on submit okay the form reset and the user created successfully no no issue is there so now our next move is to how you can implement the delete user with the confirmation window so uh, we'll meet with you in the next video to implement the delete user and uh, with the confirmation window and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, hit the like and bell button that will you will never miss any video from mind and uh, have a great day bye bye take care love you guys